My name's Jean McHugh and I'm, I, and I'm an artist. Um, I work with people and I make things and often I do the two things together. Um, I got involved with Super Slow Way. I responded to one of their um, call out for commissions to, to work on their community residencies um, and I was really interested in the idea of a kind of slow, gentle, people-based approach that was about a, a responsive approach to making art. I work with a group called Circle of Friends in Blackburn. And Circle of Friends are a group of people who have a range of different disabilities and impairments. They're a group of people who've been meeting for a number of years. Um, they meet every week and they do things together and they socialise. And they were very interested in doing a project around walking. And um, I do a lot of walking in my life and in my art, um, so it seemed a good match. So um, I've been working with the group for the last eight, nine months, exploring different ways of walking and exploring and wandering and noticing things around Blackburn um, and further afield. So a slow way of working for me is really taking time to listen to people and really sort of focus in on where they're at and try to take it from there, find out what they're interested in, what they're passionate about and what grabs them and, and find a way of kind of facilitating that or, or sort of growing ideas with them. Um, and that, that takes time. My approach is very playful and it is about just noticing and imagining and being alert um, and sensitive to your surroundings and seeing what's going on. So that's the kind of approach that I took to working with the group. It was about sort of going out together and exploring and walking together and seeing what, seeing what we could see um, and then taking it from there. I very much believe in doing art with people, not at them. Um, and for sort of meaningful collaboration to take place that takes time it takes time to build relationships trust and to develop ideas try out new things and to think about them and to reflect on them and to then think about how to take them forward that takes time um, and super slow we really get that um, so it's been a real pleasure to work with them because they understand that and they've created the conditions for me as an artist to come in and, and do a project that is very gentle and exploratory and that can take time so that's been a real gift. Um, so with the group, we've been able to just really gently explore different ways of walking, go to different places, um, talk about the, the things that we notice in different environments and really kind of just explore and expand kind of what our experience of walking is and walking together. So it, it's just been fantastic. So quite early on in the project, after we'd done a couple of walks together and we were, we were comfortable just being out walking together, we had a mapping session where everyone in the group created a map of a significant walk or route in Blackburn or around Blackburn that they took or that was meaningful to them. And then we took that as a starting point for then doing other walks. So for example, um, Kavita took us for a walk in Corporation Park and that's a significant place for her because she goes walking there with her boyfriend and she really Really loves trees and, and hanging out in nature and then we've been on other walks that other members have led from their houses to places that are meaningful for them so I think it's for me I always try to be responsive to what people are are giving and another sort of key thing about the group is that they're full of stories and local information so it was about bringing that out more and so learning from each other about different areas and different myths and different stories um, and about their different areas of Blackburn so um, it's, and, and the group have said that they've been to different areas of Blackburn that they'd never been to before and experienced them in different ways so it has felt like a real adventure. We've also been on a trip to the Lake District to visit Wordsworth's the cottage that he used to live in, Dove Cottage. Wordsworth was a walking poet, so we were exploring walking in words. We've been on a trip to Manchester and walked through very busy city centre. Um, so we've been walking in lots of different environments and we've been talking all the way through about how those environments change and how we experience our environment differently. And we've also done some walking games where we had directions of turn left, turn right, go straight on, turn left, turn right, um, which was about us kind of trying to confuse ourselves a little bit or experience a walk in, in, a, in a less sort of linear way. They have such a kind of 
poetic and surprising kind of take on things sometimes. Um, so one day we, we were doing a walk that was a sort of a walking game and we ended up in a little bit of waste ground and we were talking about how it used to be a nightclub um, and we had a little uh, silent disco for a few minutes and we, we were changing the records and deciding what tracks were going to be on. And because the group are so open and imaginative that they're just, it just kind of flows out of them and it's just absolutely wonderful just to be with them and, and just watch them interact with their surroundings with such such um, pleasure and openness. So we've been doing these walks and documenting them in different ways so some of the group have been taking photographs and um, some people have been writing notes and recording the walks in words and we've been doing some filming and audio recording so we have a lot of documentation of our walks and we've made some of that into a couple of zines which are handmade magazines and one which is more of a kind of a map. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to be guiding a walk as part of the Blackburn Canal Festival um, and taking people on a walk as part of that and producing a zine that people can use as a guide or a map when we're, when we're not around. Looking back on the last few months and reflecting on where we started from, which, which was a fairly tentative point of us going out together and just being a bit worried about were we going to be okay in the weather, where were we going to meet and all of that. People, the group have become very comfortable with being out and about in different environments um, and I can see that. So people have said things like that they relate to each other differently and um, when they're out and about, that they notice their environment differently. So they, they notice little details. Um, for example, one of the group noticed the other day some, some purple flowers growing out of a purple wall and she said she would never have noticed that before we did the project. People can have um, ideas and um, in preconceptions of what they think art is and sometimes that can get in the way from just being playful and imaginative so I've shied away a little bit for, from using that word and when we have used that word we've talked about I suppose art in the traditional sense so images like um, paintings or drawings or photography or collage so it's not always been that helpful to kind of use that word um, we had a trip to um, an art gallery in Manchester recently to look at an exhibition on landscape um, and it was very minimally curated and put together and, and the group really didn't, didn't enjoy it and they, they, they didn't like it at all um, and talking about um, if it was art uh, and they didn't think it was um, so, so, we, so that was a kind of interesting discussion to have with them. Well, this has been just an absolutely delightful project for me to work on. I've just been so lucky with the group, how fantastic they've been, and also having such a great support worker in Yasmin, who, who knows the group really well and has supported them for a number of years. It's just been an absolute joy to work with. I feel like it's been very collaborative. I feel like we've explored together. I've learned a lot, and they said that they've learned a lot, and it's just been, just been absolutely wonderful experience.